And I'm really passionate about sustainable agriculture, local agriculture, but to be able to put my hands in the dirt and actually, you know, like, like live out what I'm like learning and, and researching is, is really fulfilling and it feels so good to um, watch something go from a tiny seed to, you know, a thousand tomatoes. Located on East Campus, the UNL Student Organic Farm has provided a place for students to learn to grow their own food for nearly a decade. Sophomore Brittany McGuire and senior Reagan Gilmore want to implement a new plan to maintain the community farm. Um, so we're trying to convert the farm from um, being managed by like a single person and uh, trying to work around that schedule to making a collaborative effort and something that people aren't scared to get involved in. Over the summer, the water was turned off because of a miscommunication and several of the plants that had been growing were removed. After this, the previous leader of the farm needed to leave the position for personal financial reasons. So we had a beautiful pollinator garden. It was just it was big and like yeah, full all, all the way area. around the, the raised beds. There was like pollinators, there was colorful flowers and everything. Um, and obviously all the raised beds are full and like probably almost yeah. ready to be harvested, so. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Yep, there's the potato. But the good news is that we have carrots, sweet potatoes, and onions. So everything that was growing under the ground, it still can be saved, we can harvest it. And... Um, so we plan to possibly grow some like cool season crops before like the freeze hits and then we want to do cover crops to make so make sure the soil stays good over winter and then really fill everything in in the spring. It's pretty interesting like growing your own food is something that everyone can do and get interested in so we really want to try to get on the city campus, east campus and let people know about it so that they can come and experience it. I'm not even sure who started the farm, but I know that they had a vision to share this with students and as many people on campus and probably off campus too as possible. And um, even though we might not have the same exact vision and I don't even know who they are, I know that we, we didn't want to let this farm just die. And that was, if, if no one stepped up, it was just gonna be, they were just gonna take it back. And um, people worked too hard to get this here and it's just, we couldn't just let it go.